Nola Jet here at the Gene Lafitte Seafood Festival. Yeah, good times in here. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are standing in line to get into the Jean Lafitte Seafood Festival to enjoy some Louisiana festival fun. So we just got in and it's time for us to explore the festival grounds, food and music. The town of Jean Lafitte, Louisiana is about 35 minutes and 23 miles away from New Orleans. Louisiana festivals are notably famous for their great festival food and festival music. I've been to many Louisiana festivals, but this is my first visit to the Jean Lafitte Seafood Festival, and I'm excited as this is my first festival since the Louisiana lockdowns lifted. So they have lots of arts and crafts and rides and food and music. And the Jean Lafitte Seafood Festival hasn't been held in over a decade, so I'm not sure what to expect. But I'm meeting some other Nola Gents here for some fun festival adventures. So I'm here in the Seafood Pavilion area, and I have to say I'm a little disappointed as I thought there would be more seafood vendors here. Now the vendors they do have, I believe, are almost all local to the area, so that is a good thing. But there are a lot of places with really long lines here. So you've got to buy a ticket to get drinks, and then you pay cash for food. So it's an interesting mix of things you have to do. So I'm looking around at the different menus, trying to decide what to get, along with seeing which line is going to move the fastest. So there's a lot of different things around that are uh, interesting on the menus, but there's also a lot of people here and some really long lines of people waiting to get into many of the food booths. So we're going to have to go and find the best option that we can to make best use of our time here. So here's one of the ticket lines and even that's a long line. This vendor has some um, fried crawfish tail, shrimp basket, fish basket, stuffed crab, and chicken tenders. Then Big Al's has the soft shell crab plate, crab balls, and boudin. And sadly, there's already places that are sold out, so there's only going to be longer lines. Oh no! Then we have boiled shrimp, boiled crawfish, and boiled crabs. And then we also have daiquiris and hurricanes here. Several of these booths are restaurants that I have eaten at before, so I'm not sure if all of these are restaurants or not, but I know many of them are. And we got really lucky. It's a beautiful day today as well. So it looks like I'm going to be in this line. They have a shrimp pasta, fried soft shell shrimp, and crab cakes, and then a sampler plate with all of that in there. So we're going to wait around and wait around, and I waited for over 40 minutes in line get my food and look how long these food lines got. It really is the longest I've ever waited in line to get food at a festival. Usually at most festivals you go and you sample multiple items at a place, but I didn't get to here. Now one of my friends got a boudin link and a crab ball with french fries. He said the crab ball was good, but the boudin link he's had better. And then I got the sampler plate with soft shell shrimp, a crab cake, the shrimp pasta, and coleslaw. So let's dig in here and taste this little crab cake to start with. Crab cake is good, so I am enjoying that. That's got a nice flavor to it. Let's give this pasta a little sample now. The shrimp in here really itty bitty and tiny. So, uh, hmm, let's see. It looks like it could be a take on the Crawfish Monica, which is a famous dish at Jazz Fest that everybody loves, but it's not quite as good as the Crawfish Monica. It's, it's okay. All right, now I don't know what to think about this soft shell shrimp. I've never had this fried like this exactly. I love a soft shell crab, and let me see my first bite ever, and, uh, you know, I don't think I like fried soft shell shrimp that much. I'd rather have my shrimp peeled. I've tried some similar uh, dishes with the shrimp with the shell on. I've never liked it, and I don't really like this that much either, but hey, since I bought it, I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. It's not totally terrible, it's just definitely that shell uh, decreases the flavor, I would say. Shrimp's usually kind of sweet, and with the shell on it, it kind of has a bit more of a bitter element to it. So I'm not really that wild about the soft shell shrimp. So I would probably skip that. Um, 
like I said, the other preparations I've had, um, shrimp with a shell on, never been a fan of any of those. So I like my shrimp peeled. So once again, confirming that I'm not a fan of the shrimp shell. So everything else is, uh, Got decent taste with the crab cake being really good. Um, although plenty of other people must love this soft shell shrimp because there's a lot of people buying this combo plate. So, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, some people like things and some people don't. So to my taste buds, just go ahead and peel it and fry it and I'll like it a lot better. Okay, so I finished off the last of the soft shell shrimp. I've got more of this great crab cake to enjoy. So yes, this will lot. Uh, be a nice palate cleanser for me after that soft shell shrimp because ooh, I'm really uh, really liking the crab cake a lot more and we have some of this good coleslaw here so this is pretty good stuff too it's nice and cool so it's kind of hot out here and it's kind of helping to cool everything down after all this hot just humid heat we have here in Louisiana and then some of this pasta so it's, uh, you know, overall it was a decent little sampler of items, but I really would have liked to have been able to go and sample many more of the food items. But the lines were just out of control, and we still have music to see. So the festival music calendar here has changed a few times. They had Marshall Tucker Band playing that we were all really excited about, but sadly they canceled. So today we're going to be watching two bands that I've seen many times. So we're going to have Cowboy Mouth and then we're going to see the Jun Blossom. So we're looking forward to that for a good time. All right, I'm down to my last bite. And as I totally destroy this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this seafood platter. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account. Because, hey, I work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. And I've also got a daiquiri here, and uh, my strawberry daiquiri, I wish I'd have smuggled liquor in because it's really weak. Okay, Cowboy Mouth has already started. Oh, I'm a little grumpy, so it took so long to get food in the line and eat. Oh, I've already missed so much of the music. No, but fortunately there's not too bad of a crowd here, so I'm going to be able to get pretty close to the front of the stage. So this is... Uh, a pretty decent sized crowd that's not too terrible. So uh, Cowboy Mouth has uh, long been a band I've seen. I've been watching Cowboy Mouth all the way back into college. So this is a band I've known for a very long time and they always put on a great show. So it's really fun. So this is a unique band and the fact that the drummer is the senior. If you've never seen them, you definitely should check them out sometime. They're a lot of fun. And there's always a good show they put on. So if you know of another band that has the drummer that's also the lead singer, comment below, let us know about it. After the long lines and crowds of the Seafood Pavilion, I was pleasantly surprised that the one and only stage wasn't as crowded as I expected. So it was actually a pretty pleasant sized crowd where you could get around very easily. Unfortunately, I missed most of the show. But I went to go look at the carnival area a little bit. They had several rides going on. So there were quite a few people that were out in this area. I didn't get to explore all of the different rides because there were so many of them, but there were food places here too that also had huge lines of people getting carnival food. So the vast majority of the festivals in New Orleans don't have carnival food like this. Uh, generally, the festivals in New Orleans have mostly Louisiana New Orleans style food. So you get a lot of choices and a lot of options and you're not going to see rides and things. So uh, maybe those festivals would not be as much fun for kids though. So this definitely had a lot of options for kids with all kinds of different rides and food they might like better than what we have in most of our New Orleans festivals. So it's just a matter of what people expect. This was the shortest line I saw anywhere at the Kona Ice Place. But now it's time to get back to some more music. The Gin Blossoms are going to be starting soon, and I'm here with the Goat and Mr. Hawk. So we're going to have a good time in here. And it's a bit more crowded for this show than our earlier show with Cowboy Mouth. So it's still a pretty pleasant crowd overall, though. You can still get around pretty easily. You're not smashed in. And as the show opens up and starts, they've got a lot of energy. They're putting on a good show. And they've always put on a good show, so they played pretty frequently down in Louisiana festivals, and they always do a great job. 
and we're having a really fun time and definitely we're going to be here at a really special time because dusk is here and we're going to be having sunset soon so it should be getting dark and that should really make for an interesting light show so they've got a really great time here we're going to get to see a lot of interesting transitions from going from daylight into the night and how their stage lighting will make the show look different so that's pretty uh, fun they definitely put a lot of energy into their show, and they certainly like to interact with the crowd. So it's always a good time with the Gem Blossoms, and everybody was having a good time, and it was a really enjoyable experience. And I decided to go ahead and get the goat, and Mr. Hawk motivated even more, and fire him up, and make him start dancing around, because you've always got to eat a little, drink a little, dance a little, as that's the New Orleans way. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and destroy that thumbs up like button and the subscribe button. Then go ahead and comment below, let me know what you thought about this festival. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I work for tips and I really appreciate any assistance with that and it really does help me. Go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as that really would help me and I do appreciate it. Thanks so much to everybody at the Jean Lafitte Seafood Fest. Those long lines and the small number of seafood vendors could be tweaked a little bit for future events and the updates to the changing band schedule could have also been done faster. But overall, it was still really good to be back festing again. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. So, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.